Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve multi-step equations. As you can see, we have three important things we need to remember when solving multi-step equations. The first is that you have to use the concept of equality to solve for the variable when solving equations. This is commonly referred to as saying, whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. That means that you're going to get the variable on one side of the equation and constants on the other. Variable just means letter. In the case of math, so this could be like an X or a Y. A lot of times it's just X. And a constant is any number without a variable. So if it's just a number, that would be a constant. The first thing you're going to want to do is add or subtract to get variables on one side of the equal sign and constants on the other side. So you want them on opposite sides of the equal sign. And then you divide by the coefficient on the variable. And the coefficient is just the number attached to the variable. So for example, if we were to say like 4x, the coefficient would be 4 in the case of 4x. So you're going to divide by that. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and jump down to our first practice problem on multi-step equations. This problem gives us 9x minus 49 equals 7x plus 43. We're using the concept of equality to get all the variables on one side and all the constants on the other. In order to do that, the first thing we're going to do is add or subtract to get all the variables together. The second thing we're going to do is add or subtract to get all the constants together. Now if I look at this problem, I have 9x here and I have 7x here. They're on opposite sides of the equal sign. I need them to be together. So I'm going to move this 7x over here with this 9x. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to subtract 7x. And the reason I'm subtracting 7x from this side is because this is a positive 7x. So the opposite of positive 7x is minus 7x. Whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So I'm going to do minus 7x on this side to this x. This plus 7x and minus 7x will cancel, so they go away. And then on the left, I have 9x minus 7x. Well, 9x minus 7x is 2x. So we have 2x. I'm going to bring down the minus 49 because I did not change that. And I'm going to bring down the plus 43 because I did not change that either. Now we want the variable on one side and constants on the other, or numbers on the other. So I have the x is on the left side. I need to get rid of this minus 49 because it's a constant. And I want this minus 49 or this 49 on the other side of the equal sign. So the opposite of minus 49 is to do plus 49. So I'm going to add 49 here so that they cancel. And then you add 49 to the other side because whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. Now 43 plus 49 is 92. So I added those together. We have equals. The equal sign comes straight down. And then the 2x moves down. And remember, we did not change the 2x, so it stays 2x. Then to get x by itself, I have to get rid of this coefficient. I already said 2x is like saying 2 times x. So the opposite of multiplication, because that's what this is, 2 times x is multiplication, the opposite of that would be to divide. So I'm going to divide by 2. So this 2 will cancel. And then whatever you do to this side, because I divided by 2, I also have to do to this side. So I'm going to divide 92 by 2, and I will get 46. So our solution to this first multi-step equation is x equals 46. Moving on to number 2. Number 2 gives us negative x plus 6 equals 11x minus 36. So again, the first thing we need to do is we need to get all the variables together on one side and all the constants together on the other side. I can subtract 11x here from both sides to get the x's together because remember we have to put the variables together. Or I could add 1x here and here in order to get the x's together. 
It's not going to matter which one you do, it's up to you. In the case of this problem, I'm just going to go ahead and add x to this side. So I'm going to do a plus x here. Whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other, so I'm going to do a plus x here. Now negative x plus x cancels, so they go away. And then on the right, we have 11x plus, this is a 1x. So 11x plus 1x is 12x. This 6 comes straight down, equals comes straight down, and then minus 36 also comes straight down. So we didn't change the 6 or the minus 36, so they stay the same. Now we have to get the constants on the same side together. So we have x on the right. We have to get rid of this constant and move it to the opposite side because we want variables on one side and numbers on the other. So I'm going to say the opposite of thir negative 36 is plus 36. So I'm going to plus 36 here. And then I'm going to plus 36 here. So these 36's cancel. I also add 36 here because whatever you do to this side, you also have to do to this side. 6 plus 36 is 42. And we have 12x on this side. Now the next step is we have to get x by itself. So we have 12 times x. The opposite of 12 times x is to divide by 12. So I'm going to divide by 12 so that the 12s cancel. And then I'm also going to divide the other side by 12 because you have to keep it balanced. So if we divide by 12 on one side, you also have to divide by 12 on the other. When you divide 42 by 12, you will get 3.5. On the right, all we have left is x. So the answer is 3.5 equals x. And the last problem for solving multi-step equations that we're going to do gives us 101 minus 10x equals 2 minus x. First step is we've got to get the variables together. Now we can add 10x to this side to get the x over here, or we can add 1x to this side to get the x over here. Like I said last problem, it doesn't matter. You can pick which side you want the variable on and which side you want the number on. In the case of this problem, I'm just going to add 1x here so that these x's cancel. And I also have to add 1x here because whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Negative 10x plus x is negative 9x. 101 comes straight down. So we have 101 minus 9x equals 2, which comes straight down. The next thing we have to do is get the constants together. So we have to get rid of this 101 because it's on the same side as the x. And we want the constants and the variables to be on opposite sides of the equation. This is a positive 101. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 101 from both sides. So this 101 will cancel. And now we have negative 9x equals 2 minus 101, which is negative 99. And then finally, the last step is to divide by the coefficient. In the case of this x, we have negative 9x. We have to divide by negative and 9. So if, it, if your coefficient is negative, you have to include the negative because you also have to cancel the negative. So you divide this side by negative 9, and you divide this side by negative 9. When you do that, you'll get negative 99 divided by negative 9 is positive 11. And your solution to this equation is x equals positive 11. And if you want to do some practice problems or download the free worksheet on multi-step equations, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video and you'll be taken to the practice quiz that will grade itself and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!